Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Long time no see. You guys wouldn't believe the mess going on in my house. It is all tore up because we are getting our wood floors refinished and we have like 700 square feet of wood floors being refinished and like all of our furniture is everywhere, including in this bathroom. I mean, you can just see my cupboards are all laid out all around my tub and in the tub it's a complete mess so I apologize for not being around we've got a lot going on we're also getting granite countertops in our kitchen um, the new floor um, we've got a guy coming to paint all of our wood trim it's just been a mess so um, I have a bunch of empties here that I wanted to get through so that I can throw these out We'll put them in the recycle bin anyway. But um, so first things first, this is a candle. This is one of the Glade candles. Um, obviously I've been burning my candles. Um, these are um, really nice. This one was a, a pumpkin one. I really wish the scent was on here. It's not on here, but um, it was pumpkin something. Why don't they have it on there? Anyway, so it was a pumpkin one. I liked it. I don't have any complaints. This one was awesome. This one is from Bath and Body Works, the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Oh, I love that one. So, so good. Um, I have another candle here, the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which again, I absolutely love that scent. So I think that's it with candles, but we'll get, we'll get a little bit further into all this. I mean, this thing is huge, you guys. It is so full. I can't remember the last time I filmed an empties video, but I do keep them all so that um, I can show you guys what I'm going through. So next is a, this was just a mini Twilight shower gel from Lush. Love, love, love this scent. It's so good. Um, let's see, soothing lavender with a touch of sweetness. They also have um, bath bombs in this scent. Oh, it is so good. Really, really nice. And it's a nice, you know, body wash. It is expensive. Lush is expensive, but um, a very little bit goes a long way with that. Um, Nioxin Scalp Therapy Conditioner. This is the number three for chemically treated hair. Um, this is an excellent conditioner. I have no complaints about it. I also have a shampoo that I'm still going through in my shower. For some reason, I happen to go through the conditioner faster than I go through the shampoo. So um, what I like about this is for fine hair, this does not weigh it down at all. Like you can um, put this on from the scalp to the ends, although I really don't. I, I pretty much just hit my ends here, like from my ears and down because my hair is chemically treated. But um, this one you could, if you really needed the extra moisture on your scalp, say if you're having issues with dandruff or whatever, this one will not weigh your hair down. So it is a really, really nice conditioner. This is a random one, but I, it's worth a mention. This is the Mrs. Meyers Mint Scent, the multi-surface cleaner. I have so many of these cleaners. It, like I've got the Lime Verbena. Right now I've got one that's a pine scent. You guys, it is so stinking good. Um, also, I had an apple cider one. I still have an apple cider one but I really, really enjoyed the mint. So um, any of these Mrs. Meyers cleaners, you guys, they're all super nice and smell really, really good. I enjoy cleaning with them, makes cleaning enjoyable. So um, gotta love that. It's a little bit of aromatherapy there. And I also went through a Mrs. Meyers dish soap. So very, very nice. I love the mint scent. And I do believe um, peppermint should be coming back pretty soon here if it's not already in stores. And I do love the peppermint as well. This is a Rodanum Fields um, Redefine Eye Claws. These are discontinued, um, but they were decent. I liked them. I used every single one of them up that I had, so they're nice. This is, oh, but I told you already, right? I'm, I'm so squirrely right now. They're discontinued, and they have new wipes that are improved much, much better. Okay, this is a yoga detox bath. This was nice. I, I'm trying to think where I got this. Did I, I think I got this in a FabFitFun box. The scent was really strong. I enjoyed it, but I think I only got like two baths out of this. Because 
<coughs> you have to use three fourths to one cup of this stuff. And this was only 16 ounces. So I got only, two, I probably used a cup in each bath and I'm sure I only got two baths out of it. So, um, and it was a pretty expensive product for the price that it was. I would just stick with the, um, those Epsom salts from, um, Dr. Teal's. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother with those. Too much money. Okay, next, a Mystic Divine Coconut Complex Texture Finishing Spray. I get these at Sally Beauty Supply. Really, really love it. Love the scent. Love what it does to my hair. Um, really, really nice product. I already have a backup of it, so it's so good. Um, Sugar Load Scrub in pumpkin batter. Like I said, all things pumpkin. We got to this time of the year. I start getting crazy about pumpkin in, in um, September. So this is a this was a scrub from the brand Mona Lisa. Love these scrubs. They are really, really nice. They're fine. And then when you add a little bit of water, they kind of like emulsify a little bit. So really, really nice. I see more candles in here, you guys. Three more. I've been going crazy with the candles. Um, okay, here's a huge whipped cream that I used up from um, Fortune Cookie Soap. This scent is so good. It's like roasted marshmallows and candy corn. I just really love it. And again, this time of the year, I love to pull stuff like this out. So that was nice. Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo. I think I got this in like a Target box or something. I don't think I would ever purchase this because what happened was I shook it really well before using it and in the beginning I got just none of the um, powder was coming out of it. I was just getting like a clear and it was like wow is this even working and then eventually when I got to the end I started getting some powder. So I'm not sure if it's because it comes in this type of a, a batch thing. I just have other ones that I like better so I wouldn't buy this. Um, but it was okay. Now this one on the other hand, excellent. I love this. This is the Nexus Dry Shampoo Refreshing Mist. Um, it says unscented, but mm, I thought I had a little bit of a scent, which is weird. And now I don't remember, but it says unscented on here. I really love this. You guys, this worked so, so good. In fact, I think I've been through a second one. Maybe not. I don't see another one in here, but really, really good. I would definitely purchase this in the full size. I think it's very expensive though. So I would definitely keep my eyes open for a nice sale on Nexus before I purchased it. Uh, Coconut Days Coconut Colada. This was just a foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. And I love all of their hand soaps. I have no complaints about any of them. Okay, a little tiny rose jam. Oh, you guys. This might be my favorite even over, I think this is my favorite over Twilight. I love Twilight, but I this rose jam scent, you guys, so, so good. If you like the scent of rose, you would love that. Okay, this is a Olay Micro Scrubbing Cleansing Infusion um, Hydrating Glow Body Wash. Uh, I have no complaints over this. It had little um, scrubby beads in it, which is okay. Um, personally, I don't like my... Um, body washes to have scrubs. I prefer using like an actual sugar scrub instead of something like this. But I thought it was nice. The scent was good. I like the scent. The scent is called crushed ginger. It was all right. You know what? I don't know that I would rush out and buy it, but I'm glad that I got to try it. Um, this is the chlorine. Um, this is a dry shampoo. This is nice. I have others that I like better though like the Batiste or the Pst or the Nexus. That one was just all right for the amount of money that it cost to buy it. Uh, this is a Eden Body Works Natural Shampoo Peppermint Tea Tree. Eh, I wasn't really a big fan of that. Uh, EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream. I love the, the shave creams from EOS, so I definitely would repurchase that. This is a dewy finish, completely empty you guys, nothing shaking out of there. This is a setting spray from NYX. I love this setting spray. I mean, I have no complaints over it. Another baby rose jam. 
I had about six of these. So let's see. Here's another one. Rose Jam. Do I have six in here or do I only use up three? Okay, so I used up four. I almost feel like I can get more out of there. I'm gonna try to get the last little bits out of them, leave them all sitting upside down, see what else I can get out of them. So good, you guys, oh my gosh. That's my favorite. Okay, another candle. Ooh, Marshmallow Fireside. This is my favorite from Bath and Body Works. You guys, this is so good. This is marshmallows, like you're sitting. My dog is snoring. It sounds like somebody's out there farting, but it's really my dog. You guys know the drill with that. But anyways, this is like roasting marshmallows. So stinking good. It is my favorite of all time from Bath and Body Works, truly. I don't know, the leaves one's pretty good too, but that one is definitely a pretty high on my list of favorites. Um, Again, another scrub from Mona Lisa. This is the Apple Brown Betty scent. Um, gosh, what did this smell like? Apple and pumpkin kind of, honestly, smells kind of like a, a fall scent, sort of. Okay, I don't know why this is in here. That is so that I can show you the one that I'm using now. So I'll put that aside. I used up a bar of soap, the patchouli and burr itty. Really, really nice. Love how this bar of soap um, lathered. I'm not a patchouli fan at all, um, but I was able to muster this one down. I used it up, but um, I would never purchase this scent again, but I do believe this Nubian Heritage has like a um, papaya coconut scent that I would absolutely love. So there's that. Pretty sure I still have another one of those. Where I got it from, maybe a Vegan Cuts box. I might have had two Vegan Cuts at, at one point. Um, and I still have a bar of that soap. I don't know. Or I gave it to my mother-in-law because she loves patchouli. I'm not sure what I did with it. Inconceivable from Fortune Cookie Soap. This is just a really small whipped cream that I used up. Oh, this is an excellent scent. This is like caramel apple. It's so, so nice. Also used up Good Zombie. Um, what is this one? This is an apple-y type scent as well. So this was an aloe me body whip. Love the aloe me body whips. They're so mo moisturizing. Oh, I love them. Okay, my Kirkland Daily Towelettes 15 pack here. I'm sure I've been through a couple more of those and I don't know why they're not in here, but I use them all the time. This is from Tiny Me, a Lavender Lullaby Bath Mom. This was really nice. I got this in a Target beauty box and I really enjoyed it. Um, Briogeo Rosarco Leave-In Conditioner. This is all right. You know, honestly, I need more for my ends than this gives, but I don't hate it. It's just that if you need a very light, um, you know, leave-in conditioner, you would love this. I just need a little bit more because my ends are extremely, extremely dry, you guys can see. Right now I'm using a Marrakesh um, leave-in conditioner that works really well for my ends, but this one, I just can't comb through my hair real well with it, but when my hair needs a refreshing, if it's looking frizzy throughout the day, this is excellent on dry hair as well. So, a little tip of the day. All right, Derm Organic. This is a hair mask. This is nice. Um, I used to buy the Derm Organic all the time, and the mask was the only conditioner I really liked. So um, if I ever buy those big containers of it again, I would definitely repurchase it. I stopped buying them because, oh, what was that? That was weird. It was like a little fuzzy one across my camera lens. Yeah, it did. It's a little cat hair, and it's floating. It looked so big on the screen. Um, but anyways, I... I was buying the big ones at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or whatever, but as time would go on, it would get like stuck in the bottom of the, you know, 33 ounce or whatever it was. So I stopped buying it because it was frustrating me. I was feeling like it was um, difficult to get out. So I took a little break from it and I've been using um, my Nioxin and a, um, a grocery store one it's called love beauty it's like the rose scent love and beauty something like that planet love and beauty you guys know 
I hope you know what I'm talking about, that brand. But um, anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I used up my Rodana Fields Lash Boost. I'm giving my eyes a little break. You have to give your eyes a break from these Lash Boosts if you ever use it and think, wow, it, it worked in the beginning. It's not working anymore. It's because your, your lashes have to cycle, you guys. Give yourself a break of this. This product is awesome. It's really, really good. Mine is completely empty. Giving myself a break, and I have a backup already on order. So I will be getting that puppy in soon. Um, okay, next from Schmitz. This is the Charcoal Magnesium Mineral Enriched Natural Deodorant. I really, you guys, this works so well for BO. But stains my shirts because you can see it's got that charcoal so it stains my armpits on my shirts and i do end up getting a rash so i really need to try the schmitz for sensitive skin and see where i'm at with it because as far as scent goes this worked fantastic if you don't have um armpits that are sensitive you would really love this for for not breaking through with BO and it doesn't contain any aluminum or anything. So it's really good for you. Um, just wear black shirts when you use it because white shirts, I get staining on my pits for some reason with this. So um, that's the only downside to it. And like I said, I get rashes and there's, there's that. Okay, so next I used up a Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. You guys are gonna be like, ah, when I tell you that I use this as a shave cream. I can't use this on my face, it dries my skin out too much, but I, I, I just used it for a while and just used it on my legs. It was a sample that I had gotten in a free gift, so it's not like I bought it for my legs, you know. But I, I definitely love it as a shave cream. Worked fine. Uh, Crest 3D White little toothpaste. I get these from my dentist and I go through them every single time. In fact, I'm almost... Look at this, you guys. This is my drawer with my toothpaste. I'm almost through another one, and I'm almost done with this. So these are my two favorite toothpastes. Use them all the time. But anyways, so that is a 3D white. They give these to my kids, and I won't let my kids use them yet because I think they're too much for their teeth. They're young, you know? I mean, my 14-year-old maybe, but anything, you know, I think it's a little bit much. Okay, now I have some makeup product here i thought i dropped something let me look here okay i just dropped something out of one of my whipped creams no big deal um now i have some makeup that i'm just throwing out because it's time for one reason or another this is from physician's formula this is the um sexy booster oh so sexy eyeshadow quad I use this pretty good. You can see it's got a little dent in it. Um, obviously these two colors I wasn't using. I was only using the lighter colors. And it smells like chocolate. I really think it's it's a nice you know, concept or whatever, but I just wasn't using them, so they gotta go. This is um, from the Sexy Booster line as well. This is a um, blush and, oh, I love the scent of it. I, I don't know why they got rid of this line. But I do have a backup of this. I bought two of them on eBay or Amazon. I can't remember. And so I will have this for a really long time. But this one, I was trying to use it up. And every time I dip into it now, it's chipping chunks and falling on the ground. So it's got to go. But um, I love that blush. Physician's Formula, if you're watching, bring back the sexy booster blushes. They're so good. So, so good. Okay, this is a Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour. Um, I'm throwing this out because it expired. Um, it says April of 2018, and I would say I've got almost all of this gone from the bottle, but it's gotta go because it's expired and I'm not gonna use expired products on my face. Um, Revlon Color Stay. I am decluttering this because it dries my skin out. It's too much for me, so. I used quite a bit of it. It just, I mean, I wish you guys could see. There's a huge dent in it. I used it for a really long time. Look at how nasty my poof is in there. But um, yeah, it just dries me out too much. So if you have oily skin though, you would probably really, really love this. But if you have dry skin like mine, this would not be your friend. So unfortunately. 
Um, a color tattoo, Maybelline color tattoo, 24 hour eyeshadow base. Um, I have to throw this out because it is like dry in there. So smells fine and all that, but you can't use it if it's dried up in the pot. Um, next is from e.l.f. This is a brow, like pomade and a, um, and a powder. I am getting rid of this because I don't use it. I never ever reach for this, so it's just got to go. It's not something I'm reaching for, and I have a lot of brow products, so I don't want to hang on to something I'm not going to use. Next is this Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel from Rimmel. I just don't like it. It does not completely dry on me for some reason, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I never ever reach for it. I tried it out a few times and was just never happy with it. So. That's everything I got here, you guys. I mean, that was a ton. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're using up and what you're really loving these days in the comments below. Love to interact with you guys. Hope you're all doing well. I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.